If you want to be able to share your resources across many different projects that are going on at the same time, then I'm going to show you here how you can create what's called a resource pool. And basically, it's a separate project file that contains only resources. And in there, you can take those resources and assign them to tasks in one or more project plans or projects that are going on at the same time. For example, in my exercises folder on my desktop, I've got my resource pool here that's called the Training Manual Resource Pool and it only contains resources. So when it comes to these other projects that are going on at the same time that need to use the same resources, it's a lot easier for me to go ahead and have one project file that contains all the resources that will allow me to go ahead and assign them out or have them pull those resources from that pool to be able to manage that and not you know, go into this uh, project file and say, okay, here's a bunch of resources and then go to this one and go, okay, let's see, what did I use in the other file? And can I use it at the same time in this file? And bounce back and forth. So we can pull all our resources into one file and be able to share those and have them linked to these uh, two project files here. So having a resource pool is going to eliminate the need for project managers to re-enter resources and keep share files, well, these files that are sharing from the resource pool, centralized and consistent and a current source of resource information and thus help preventing over allocation. So if you go ahead and assign a resource in this project and assign the same resource in this project at the same time, it'll actually flag you and say that this resource is over allocated if their standard working day is an eight hour day and you've already got them in eight hours in this project here. So let's go ahead and open up the resource pool so I can show you, double click, and this resource is already connected or linked or sharing resources to one of the project files. It's actually Access 2010. So it says, because it's linked, this file is the resource pool for many projects. Well, actually only one right now, but in any case, what do you want to do? You can either go ahead and open it up in read-only mode that allows others to work on their project plans linked to the pool, or you can open up and read-write if you need to make changes like when it comes to the resources themselves, like pay rates, but it blocks out and prevents other share files or those other projects that are sharing those resources from the resource pool from updating it themselves. Or you can go ahead and open the resource pool read-write and allow other share files into a new master project file. Well, we'll cover the uh, master project in the next training video. So for right now, let's just go ahead and open the resource pool in read only, allowing others to go ahead and work on their projects that are connected to this pool. Click okie dokie and there you go. Nothing but resources as far as the eye can see in any case. So I can show you that there's nothing else in this project file but resources. Let me come over here and right click on the view bar, go to the Gantt chart, no tasks, nothing. Just again, right click on the view bar, a bunch of resources that we're sharing right now with one other project. And if you want to find out what other project that we're sharing the resources with, or actually link up and share this to another project, just come up here and click on the resource tab, go to the assignments group, click on the resource pool drop down arrow, and click on share resources. And you can see right now, the link is pointing right to the Access 2010 training manual, the project file, on my desktop in the exercises folder. So when I go ahead and open up Access 2010, it'll have a link to all these resources here that I can go ahead and use and assign to the tasks within that project. Let me show you. Let's come up here and close out of the inner X so we can leave the program open. Come down here to the Exercises folder and open up Access 2010. Now it says that this file shares resources from a resource pool. What do you want to do? You can open up the resource pool to see the assignments across all sharer files or do not open other files. If I do not open that other file, then it's not going to allow me to see the resources and assign them to the task within my project. So I want to make sure that I open the resource pool to see the assignments and be able to go ahead and take those resources and assign them to the tasks here. So click okie dokie and you can see down below in the task bar, I've got my Access 2010 and I have the uh, resource pool. When I click on it, you can see it's opened up as well. Let's go back to Access 2010. You can see that I've already assigned Writer 1 and Admin Assistant 1. And if I come over here and right click on the view bar and go to the resource sheet, those are all the resources that are pulling from the pool that you could say are copied over into this project. Actually, it's linked. So if I go ahead and I'll show you this later on if I assign a resource in another project that's sharing this as well, 
at the same time without any overtime for a standard day of eight hours so they're working 16 hours it'll show it in red here and also in their projects but let's keep it simple for now and you can see that we do have uh, resources being pulled over or were linked to the pool so let's go ahead and close out of here and say no and close out of the resource pool and come back to our exercises uh, folder and open up access 2010 again and this time say don't open up the resource pool and click OK and come over here and right click on the view bar go to the resource sheet and I don't have the other resources and you can see that these resources are in red because well it leaves them here because they're assigned already to the task back in the Gantt chart right click and go to the Gantt chart you can see that they're assigned but they're not connected back to the mothership so they broken off and they're not tied to the resource pool because I didn't open it up so it doesn't show me the additional resources and those two that I've assigned while it's not going to remove them it's not going to be helpful for me to know if somebody else is using these uh, resources at the same time if I don't have that connection to the resource pool when I open up my uh, project so make sure that when you open it up I recommend you always open it up along with the resource pool so we can get that connection to see you know resources that we've assigned if they're not currently in use by another project at the same time let's go ahead and close out of the access here not save it and let's go back to the exercises folder and open up Excel double click on that and when you right click on the view bar go to the resource sheet well actually we've got one resource there which brings up a good point you got your resource pool that sharing with all the projects what if you have a resource that is not going to be shared with everybody else but it's just for your project that's fine go ahead and type in the resource and then let's go ahead and connect up with the mothership or the resource pool as it were to bring in those resources that we want in addition to the one resource that's not being shared with everybody else and see what happens now to go ahead and to link this to the resource pool come up here on the resource tab to the assignments group click on the resource pool drop down arrow and click on share resources now for resources for Excel 2010 do you want to use your own well I want to use that but I also want to use resources from a resource pool the reason why I cannot select this is because I don't have the resource pool open when I have it open then it will allow me to go ahead and select it and choose it so let me click cancel come down here to the exercises folder and double click to open up the resource pool and let's leave it in the default read only so we can allow whoever's working on the other project that's connected to this pool to allow them to work on their project plans linked to the pool so let's go ahead and click and say okie dokie now that we have the training manual open the resource pool let's go back to our Excel project here and come up here click on the resource pool drop down arrow share resources there you go now we get the options to use resources from the training manual and before we click OK it says if there's a conflict with calendar or resource information which one do you want to take precedence the pool or the sharer well when it comes to sharing resources I would say the pool takes precedence because we all have to share or if your project is more important than the other ones and there's a conflict then you'll take precedence as the sharer over the pool so they have to kind of make room for you if you select as the sharer so I recommend if you're sharing with other projects unless well there is the other option unless you need that other option let the pool take precedence okay and click okie dokie and what happened to writer 4 he's still there it just brought in all the other resources from that pool that's in addition to the resource that we added here cool okay picking up where we last left off as you recall in the previous training video we had these resources that got pulled in because we linked this project file to the resource pool and then we had the original resource before we linked up to the resource pool writer 4 the problem that you run into is that anytime you have resources in your project that aren't from the resource pool when you click save the resource pool is going to want to update the resources within your uh, project here and if it's not from the resource pool then it's going to remove it so when I come up here and click save it says do you want to update the resource pool to reflect changes for all the open share projects again share projects are those projects that are sharing resources from the resource pool like this one right here Excel 2010 when I click OK there you go he's gone so if you want to get around that here's one thing you can do let me go ahead and close out and not save it and close out of the resource pool go back to the folder and open up Excel 2010 and not open up the resource pool or have it linked 
and click OK and let me enter back in my writer 4 and then click Save. Um, I'll do the standard and overtime rates later and then close out, go back to the folder, open it back up and you can see writer 4 is there. Let's go ahead and open up and link up to the uh, resource pool. Click OK. There's the resources. There's Writer 4. Now to get around this, before I go ahead and click Save and lose my Writer 4 again, you want to assign any resources that you have that's not from the resource pool or in it to a task. Because once you have it assigned to a task, the resource pool goes, oh, I guess this resource is being used for something. Better not remove them. So come over here and right-click on the view bar. Go to the Gantt chart. Let's go ahead and assign Writer 4 to Create Outline. Come up here, click on the Resource tab, click Assign Resources. Let's scroll down. Writer 4, Assign, Close Out. You can see he's assigned to that task. Right click on the View Bar, go back to the Resource Sheet, and there's Writer 4. Click Save, click OK. He's still there. In fact, not only that, but here's the downside to it, is that the Resource Pool because Writer 4 has been assigned in your project to a task, we'll say, hey, Writer 4 is good for something, so we'll go ahead and put him or Writer 4 in the resource pool. Let me show you. Close out. You can say yes, OK, close out, and go back to this time the resource pool, and click OK. You can see Writer 4 is there. So if you don't want to share your resources, they're proprietary to your project, but you want to go into the resource pool to pull in those resources to use as well, then maybe to keep your resources, you don't want to give them a name like somebody that can identify and go, hey, I want to use that resource. Maybe you could type in like, this is OK resource writer number four. And then maybe you'll be the only one that will use it and the only one wiser for that resource. And hopefully nobody else will pull it from the resource pool and you'll have conflicts. In any case, let me go ahead and close out of here. And let's open up the access project and click OK. And you can see over here, that in the Gantt chart, I've got Writer 1 assigned to this task. Let me click and drag the split bar over, and you can see that this task is scheduled from August the 1st of 2008 through the 6th. So, let me go ahead and close out of here, and not save it. Close out of here, go back to the folder, open up Excel, click OK, right-click the view bar and go to the Gantt chart. You'll notice that this task is also going to be worked on during that same time period. August the 1st, 2008 through the 6th. So what would happen if I assign the same resource, Writer 1, to a task that's going to be going on at the same time as that task in the other project? Come up here, click Assign Resources. Let's scroll down to Writer 1, click Assign, close out. Because of the link, project is going to say, hey, I'm going to give you a red dude to say that this resource is over allocated. Okay, so how do we go ahead and fix this? Well, from what we learned in previous training videos, we can, one option is to push out the start date because we know that this resource is going to be used until the 6th. So we can come over here and say, go ahead and start on the 7th. And then it says, okay, you're moving the task. Do you want to go ahead and break the link from the predecessor here? Or do you want to keep it and just push the task out? We'll keep it and push it out. So the link is still there from the predecessor of the milestone start manual and you can see that we got no red dude but because we pushed it out it says that this task can start no earlier than the seventh it added a constraint again to let us know that when you do something like this it's flagging us and it's a good thing because then if somebody else comes in here and goes hey we're supposed to start on the first what's the deal you know they can push it back and if they don't see the red dude that the resource is over allocated then that could be a problem and hopefully they're cognizant of the project and what's going on and making sure that they check uh, all the details and the different fields. So you can do it that way or we can hit undo. The other option is you can come up here on the resource tab to the level group and click on level resource. Now when you do that, you're going to have to find out what project does. In other words, I'm going to go ahead and level the selected resource. So I want to make sure that the selected resource is Rider 1. I've got the project selected here, Excel 2010, and click Level Now, and you can see it pushed it out. Cool. So it does pretty much the same thing that I did. And let me go ahead and undo that. Now, if this resource is being used by multiple projects, and you're like, okay, who's using this resource? Maybe I want to contact the person working on that project and say, I really got to use the resource. Can you go ahead and use somebody else? In any case, if you want to find out which project 
the resource is working on, just come over here and right click on the view bar. I like the resource usage view. Let me go ahead and select that because you can scroll down here and go to the resource and it will automatically, when you're sharing the resources from a pool, let you know what other tasks have been assigned to that resource. And when I look at this, well, you can see that it's cut off, but when I hover over it, it says examine software, which is within my project, the task that that resource has been assigned to, but also the same name of that task in another project. And I'm scratching my head going, well, which is which? You can find out by coming up here and right-clicking on the uh, column label for any column and going down to insert. And if it's not going to insert, uh, my project's having a bit of an issue. You can come up here, click on add new column, and just type in project. And then select it. And it inserts it. Scroll back down. And well, let me drag the split bar out and scroll back. And I need to scroll it just a little bit. There we go. So examine software is being used in my project and this one right here well it's got a long address but you can see towards the end of the address the name of the project which is access 2010 if you select it you've got the entry bar up above you can see the entry bar get the full details there without having to you know click and drag to stretch open that column or hover over it to get the pop-up and again to get the entry bar come up here click on the file tab go down to options go to the display category and check entry bar and click OK. So I can see that he's being used in this other project. If he's being used in uh, other projects at the same time that's causing this uh, over allocation, I can contact them and go, hey, you know, everybody knock it off. I got to use them. And if you want to know if they're over allocated by a couple hours, maybe you can give them overtime. Then go ahead and select the task. Come up here on the task tab to the editing group and click on scroll to task. And look over here and you can see that it's eight hours a day in my project and maybe the other project if it's not eight hours maybe two it's still above eight hours a day but i'm willing to pay overtime to go ahead and use this person within my project but if it's too much then we have to resort to other avenues in fact the least of which let me right click and go back to the gantt chart is maybe to assign somebody else instead of this resource like maybe writer four thanks for watching Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.